So what questions do you have about writing the equation? Okay, we're going to do the same thing with the tangent line, except for what do we know about tangent lines? They have two points. Yeah, it's going to touch it in one place, that's true. Yes. Um, what, yeah, what calculus do we do to get a tangent? Sign over. That was bad grammar, but I did it on purpose. Sign over. Um, no, that's true. Uh, what calculus do we do when we want to know the slope of the tangent line? Go ahead, Isabel. You, you know very little calculus, so that's a hint. Derivatives? You do the derivative. Okay, so. Obviously. Okay, so we're going to find the equation of the line tangent to this equation at this x value. So it's y equals x squared plus 2x with at x equals 1. <clears throat> so here's the thing very, very possibly, it's not super common, very possibly. They wouldn't tell you at x equals 1. They would tell you at an ordered pair. This so point, this and this, in this case, they don't. So if x equals 1, what's y? 0. Zero. 2. Negative 2. Um, y is x squared plus 2x. Oh, yeah. So you plug in whatever x value they give you.
those calculations to find B. And that'll be the equation of your tangent line. M, and that will give us? Probably Y. That gives us Y. I thought you were really like saying Y. Why do we look at it? <clears throat> Would you say I think you're at 19? Yeah, negative 19. Is this really a fun challenge that you haven't had to do in a while? just that you do the derivative to get the slope. Um, and you need to know that for m, they usually give you x, and then if they don't give you y, you got to go back to the original and look to find y. Um, which we do that at the beginning. <clears throat> okay. So, we do one more thing today called higher order derivatives. I actually very briefly mentioned them, mentioned them the other day. So if you remember that when I said this is the second derivative, that's the same thing. But if you have this function, let's do x to the fifth power. Do we higher down? order derivatives. Um, yeah, you might as well write down one an example. Okay, so this should just be a new paper. I mean, it's the same lesson in the book, so it doesn't have to be. I think they're just both relatively simple, so let's put them together. So it's called order what? Higher order derivatives. Um, it just means you've been doing the first derivative all this time, but now we're going to start doing the second derivative and the third derivative. And so on, but they don't usually have you do it too many times. So, you know how to do the first derivative. That is f. be like f2? Exactly, yeah. And we call it f double prime, or we call it the second derivative. It just means, 
take this right here and do the derivative again. Oh. What is that? Sometimes we do that on axioms. Right. <laughs> Is there a third? Yes. Does it just keep going forever? I mean, okay, so that's a good question. Here, let's do the. It's okay to have confused thoughts about this. Gee, now you just made me lose my train of thought. Oh, remember that the derivative is a rate of change. So if this is our original function, and then we find its rate of change, we have this. Well, then we want to know how fast that's changing. Well, that would give you this. Should I know this? Yes, you should all know this. Why is this over time? This is over time. This is over time. It's speed. Uh -huh. So the rate of change of your position or your, dis uh, your distance would be speed. So what's the rate of change of speed? Um, and we actually probably don't use hours in this much, but when we use this, we would say something like per second. And if you do the rate of change, then it would be per second. So, no, speed and velocity are mostly the same thing, especially in kind of Acceleration? It's acceleration, yeah. If you take your rate change your velocity, so miles per second per second, that would be acceleration. Are you ready for this? This is also something we'll discuss in the future. Um, you know there's a rate of change of acceleration? So, think about a time you're on a roller coaster, if you were ever on a roller coaster, and then um, think about whenever it, you have sudden changes, well, that's called the jerk. The rate of change of your acceleration is the jerk. The jerk. Really? Yeah, like if you think about going on a roller coaster, and then you like jerked to one side, that's why. Oh, sorry. Um, but that's one reason why we do many derivatives. There's a, a much longer explanation that you're going to have to learn small calculus first before we get there. But that's what you have a rate of change and a rate of change. For. So... <clears throat> Back to, this is our second derivative. Tell me your third derivative. Great. So, what would happen is, they would give you this f of x. You soon get to zero. zero. Eventually, this kind of thing would. And that'll help in some cases in the future, too. But that's going to be like a, an April kind of a problem. But it's a good for probably for this conversation. So for all of you, forever on YouTube. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> um, for right now, here you have your f of x. It'll tell you, find f triple prime of x. And so that's what you will do, is find your first derivative, and then your second, and then your third. Well, there is. And they could keep going. You probably could. I don't know if you really need to. But, um, what did you just say? OK. Um, it'll probably tell you to find f double prime of x or f triple prime of x. You could keep going. We don't really have too many needs to go to too many places. And they, you know, this is just a little bit of practice right here. But yes, eventually, the, the, what's the fourth derivative going to give you? I don't know if that's a normal thing. We really don't do that. 120. That's going to be 120 x. Then zero. So then your fifth derivative, try again. 120. It's 120. And then the sixth derivative. Oh my gosh, this is zero. <clears throat> Will also, I ever make them like go backwards? Like, yes, but that's a, a future day two. We're so oh, smart. What questions? <laughs> what questions do you have about that? Uh, so remember when I said you don't know much calculus yet? Like, there's only a few kinds of calculus. There's just many things we'll do with that. Well, one of those things is derivatives. We just have many things to do with derivatives. Well, why is it like? 